And God has sent his son into the world not to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. God has sent his son into the world as a savior so that we can be forgiven for our sins, so that we can be reconciled to a God that is willing to pardon us for our rebellion. Yet we must be willing to humble ourselves and come to the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever should believe in him, that they should not perish, but that they should have everlasting life. Yet if you reject God's son, my friends, I am here to warn you today that you are going to die and you're gonna to go to hell. Jesus said that hell is so serious that it is better to cut your hand off if it causes you to sin, rather to live in your rebellion and to be cast into hell. The Bible says that hell is a place of punishment. God has designed hell for punishment for those who want to continue living on in their rebellion. Yet you can still come to the Lord and humble yourself and you can find salvation for your soul for God has appointed a day of judgment where he is going to judge each and every soul in righteousness through his son Jesus Christ God is going to judge you sir you need to really humble yourself and don't play games because this ain't no game don't get caught up in the things of this world sir and you die in your sin and you bust hell wide open the Bible says, do not love the world or the things in the world. If you love the things in the world, the love of the Father is not in you. All that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the pride of life, all that is of the world. It's not of the Father in the world is passing away and the lust of it. Yet he who does the will of God abides forever. That's what the Bible says that he who does the will of God abides forever in God's will is that you repent and you believe the gospel. God's will is that you humble yourself and come to the Lord and get right with God because there's a day of judgment coming. There's a day where God is going to judge the drunkard. There's a day where God is going to judge the weed smokers. There's a day where God is going to judge all the businessmen who build their earthly kingdoms and they deny the God that has created them. There is going to be a day where every man is going to be accountable to the God that has created them and they will give an account for their rebellion and the Bible says that you're going to be cast into hell if you do not repent. And that's the message of the Bible is that Humanity is under judgment because of sin. And God has sent his son into the world so that you don't have to be judged for your rebellion, yet you have to turn away from your life of iniquity. You have to turn to the Lord and come to God and get your heart right with him and stop playing games because there's a day that you're gonna die. There is a day when you're gonna breathe your last breath. You're not gonna live forever, my friend. And then you're going to be judged. You're going to stand before a holy and righteous God. And uh, the Bible says that it is appointed once for man to die. And then after that comes the judgment. It is appointed once for man to die. And then comes the judgment. All those who are living in adultery, they're going to go to hell. All those who are living in drug addiction, living a life outside of the salvation of God, they're going to go to hell if they don't repent. God offers his mercy to all of you, but you reject the mercy of God because you love the things of this world. Not everybody does, so don't judge me. Ma'am, you got a very... 
Yeah, well, that cross is not going to save you, ma'am. You got to commit your life to God. You got to obey the gospel. God said, these people, they honor me with their mouth, but their heart is far from me. And this is the world that we live in. We live in a world of hypocrisy where people say the name of Jesus and they say they believe in God and they wear a cross on their neck and they say, Jesus, Jesus, but they live like the world. There's no commitment to God. Just because you wear a cross around your neck, that won't save you from the judgment of God. You got to humble yourself and you got to repent and believe the gospel for Jesus said so likewise, if you do not repent, sir, you're going to bust hell wide open. And you need to do some serious thinking about your life. Yes, sir, you. Yes, sir. If you do not come to the Lord, that goes for all of us. You're going to go to hell. This is the judgment for all those who die without the salvation of God. Yet while there is still breath in your body, you can humble yourself and you can stop living in rebellion. You can repent and believe the gospel. You can come to God with your heart and you can humble yourself and lay hold of this precious gift of salvation. Yet you have to be willing to deny yourself and come to the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says that you must deny yourself and pick up your cross and follow Jesus. That means you gotta stop living unrighteously. That means you gotta stop living unholy. The Bible says that those who live an unholy life, they won't see the Lord. That means they're gonna go to hell. The Bible says to be ye holy for which God is holy. The Bible says that you are to follow after peace and holiness with all men for without which no one will see the Lord. That means if you're not following a life of holiness, walking in a commitment to Christ, walking in the forgiveness that God has made for you through the atonement of the Lord Jesus Christ, you're going to die a sinner and you're gonna be in big trouble with God. Yet while you are still alive, you can humble yourself and you can turn to the Lord today. You can humble yourself. Hypocritical Christians, that's what we got. We got hypocrites out here that's bound by iniquity and drugs and alcohol. And they live in rebellion. And they don't turn to the Lord. And they think they're going to be okay when they die. But I'm here to tell you today, sir, if you don't get right with God and get your heart right with God, you're going to die and you're going to go to hell. Get right with God while there's still time. Turn to the Lord while you still hear the preaching of his word being preached out here in the streets. For judgment is coming to the nation of America. Judgment is coming and God has appointed a day of judgment where he is going to judge your soul for all the wicked things that you have ever done if you do not come to God and get right with him in your heart. 